is retreating. We Coming have a location here isn't going to help at all. We have you a mean Comatos. After all this, to be left in a state like that? I'm concerned about this end. Careful now, careful. Don't move too quickly. Everything's fine, you're safe. You're in the Citadel. I was starting to think you might never wake up, despite assurances to the contrary. I've been coming down here every day to see both you and my daughter. It's good that at least one of you has recovered. Yes, yes, she's fine. Oh, she will be. I appreciate your concern for her, but really don't worry. You've been through enough. Please, relax. Everything is fine. You were brought back to the Citadel after some sort of energy spike in the purifier. You and Sarah were both knocked unconscious. Quite a bit has happened since then. Indeed it did. The tidal basin is full of fresh, clean water now. We've been working to see that it's distributed to as many people as possible across the Wasteland. In fact, I'm hopeful that soon we won't be referring to the Wasteland any longer. None of this would have been possible without the efforts of both you and your father. I doubt we shall ever be able to truly repay you. Yes, we most certainly did. Between your help in destroying their headquarters, and their subsequent defeat at the Purifier, the Enclave was thrown into disarray. Liberty Prime has been assisting our forces in removing any remaining Enclave forces. Just about two weeks. Don't worry, we've been taking good care of you. Well, that's really up to you, isn't it? The Brotherhood has a clear plan of action. The remnants of the Enclave must be swept away. The Pride has been working to this end ever since we took the Purifier back. The only remaining question is whether we can count on you to help us. Indeed. We can use every able body available to us. To that end, I am going to circumvent our standard recruitment procedures and declare you a Knight of the Brotherhood of Steel. Before you do anything else, please speak with Scribe Rothschild. I'm sure he'll be pleased to see you again. He can brief you on the details of the last few weeks, as well as where our efforts are focused now. I understand that you've been through quite an ordeal, but the sooner you can talk to him, the sooner we can put an end to all this. Oh? Have you learned something? Vault 87? Where you found the Gek? We've never been able to penetrate the radiation surrounding that area. This information is invaluable! Well done! The Brotherhood has taken over control of the Purifier, and is managing distribution of the water to the people of the Wasteland. If you travel there, speak with Scribe Bigsley. He's heading up the on-site operation. She's right here. Unresponsive, but stable. To see that you've recovered gives me hope. My child, you seem to have learned more in the past week than I have in 20 years. As you know, I had my reservations about engaging the Enclave. They did not directly attack us, and I believed we had time. Time to be cautious. Their assault on the Purifier forced our hand. We had no choice but to engage them directly. And, once that engagement was begun, we could do nothing but see it through to the end. If they had not considered us a threat before, they do now. 
So, we have spent the time since you and I last spoke, systematically locating and destroying every bastion of Enclave Force we can. Liberty Prime has proven far more successful than any of us could have hoped for. Please be careful. I would hate to lose you again. to formulate a plan. What is it? I had hoped... With all due haste. Procedures initiated. Administering treatment. Please stand still. Medical procedure complete. Further instructions. Acknowledged. Hitting the rack. It's good to see that you're on your feet again. I assume Lyons is immediately throwing you to the wolves? Has he told you what's been going on while you've been resting? Yes, I believe I can. Step over here for a moment, will you? and what's going on now. As you well know, this all began with the Enclave's occupation of Project Purity here. Thanks to you, their main headquarters here was utterly destroyed. They then suffered a second defeat at the Purifier. Based on a combination of intelligence and field reports, other Enclave locations throughout the Wasteland were found. Cut off from their leadership, it was expected that their forces would be in complete disarray. 
this has not been the case. Based on data and tech gathered from these locations, we've determined that the Enclave forces are still maintaining remote communications. We isolated the transmissions and found their origin point, an old military installation in Rockland to the southwest. Our advanced scouts have checked over the area, but no easy access to the facility was found. So we're making our own access point. Paladin Tristan is leading the team setting up forward base in an old car tunnel near the site. Once he's settled, Liberty Prime will be deployed. Prime's directive is to neutralize their defenses and create an entry point for the team. The team will move in, eliminate any opposition inside, and cut off their transmitter. Any relevant data should be brought back here. Now, did you have any other questions? If there's anything else you'd like to know, I'll tell you what I can. Otherwise, Paladin Tristan will be waiting. I'll alert him that you're on your way. I'm afraid you're asking the wrong person. If you insist, what do you want to know? Performance is exceeding all our expectations. He's been especially effective against the Enclave's vertebrates, for which we previously had no counter. We are fine-tuning his programming as we go, but on the whole, I'm pleasantly surprised. It's as I always suspected. Prime's real issue was energy management. And when Dr. Lee helped us solve that problem, well, <laughs> the rest was easy. Could I? Yes. And so you go. You honor us with your presence here. Hail! Tristan is just inside. He's waiting for you. We've got this area locked down.
Well, well, look who's back amongst the living. Some of us were starting to wonder if you and Sarah were going to pull through. Is that so? Well, it'll be good to have another soldier we can count on. Basic rule of thumb on these operations. Keep your head down and let the robot do most of the heavy lifting. He can take it better than you can. I need you to keep your head on straight. No heroics, okay? Liberty Prime was called in to assist with the initial assault. Once we've cleared ourselves a nice staging area, we'll reassess the situation. Come on, things should be underway by now. It's been pretty standard for the last week or so. We get intel on positions, go in and burn them out. The tin can does most of the work, honestly. I can't complain, it keeps our casualties down. Don't worry. We got this Trist area locked down. information about this place day before yesterday. Some communications facility. We're thinking if it's active, we can find out who they're talking to and get the last of the locations nailed down. Find out what the hell just happened. There's no time to talk. Get your ass inside that base and help the troops locate the source of their transmission. Now, soldier, now! I don't know, I don't know. Terminals, data, anything that can help us figure out what just happened and where it came from.
you're doing. Honor us with your presence here. The Brotherhood is at... I just... I can't believe it! All those years of work, all of it! For what? One botched operation? I'm still waiting on the debriefing from Tristan, but... I'm not sure it even matters. With Prime gone... I don't know what could help at this point. If anything, we should be thankful they waited this long to use... whatever they used. Nonetheless, we should try and move on. What is it you have for me? Ah, yes. Well, I'll see if we can't figure out how to read it. Perhaps it can give us some insight as to just what happened out there. It would be good to salvage something from this mess. Thank you for bringing this to me. I believe Elder Lyons will want to speak with you as well. Perhaps you should find him. If you'll excuse me...
your service. The Brotherhood is at your service. I trust you've spoken with Rothschild. I hope he can make some headway with the data you've recovered. With our primary weapon destroyed, we risk losing our momentum and jeopardizing the entire campaign. I must admit I now wonder whether moving ahead with this operation was an error in judgment. You're right, which is precisely my concern. We have pushed the Enclave, and now it seems they're pushing back, much harder than we expected. If we cannot identify and neutralize this new threat, we have little hope for success. It's already cost us our greatest weapon. I sincerely hope you are right. If we are to succeed now, it will once again be largely thanks to you. Paladin Tristan has requested you for a special assignment. Please, report to him at once. We've little time to waste before the Enclave seizes this opportunity. Of course. Nice work back there. Let's hope the scribes can do something useful with the information you retrieved. Unfortunately, we don't have time to sit around and wait for the analysis. Based on what I've seen of you so far, there's an assignment I believe you're well suited for. With the setbacks the Brotherhood has suffered, we find ourselves in a difficult position. All our available resources need to be positioned for the inevitable counterattack from the Enclave. At the same time, we believe we may have developed a tool to help our chances of victory. But with everyone needed to help defend against the Enclave, we have no one to send on a recovery mission. So, I'm going to have you travel to the Olney Power Works to secure some tech for us. Hopefully you'll be able to find a Tesla coil an experimental device from before the war. 
Our scribes need it to complete a little surprise they've been preparing for the Enclave. Get there, get the coil, and get back as safely and quickly as possible. Any questions? Check with Scribe Valancourt. She's been researching some of the Enclave technology we've recovered. From what I understand, she may have come up with something. I'll be waiting for that Tesla coil, if you can find one. Back to work. Welcome. I'm still very, very busy. Is this important, or can it wait? Well, maybe. I mean, possibly. I think so, but I'm not certain. I don't know how much this will actually help. I mean, I'm not quite sure how effective it might be, since it hasn't really been field tested. But I think I've figured out a way to override the signals the Enclave is using to control their death claws. Here, take this. It's only a prototype, so please don't lose it. It's a semi-standard transmitter, only I altered the frequency modulation and jacked up the output. Based on some experiments I ran here in the lab, it should override the signals the Enclave uses to control death claws. Don't worry, it's constantly broadcasting, so you don't need to do anything. Just don't lose it. And so far, I have no evidence of adverse effects of EM interference in humans. Animals, maybe, but not humans. Anyway, it doesn't have a huge broadcast range, but it should be enough. It overrides the Enclave signal, so as far as the Death Claw is concerned, you're in control. And remember, it works passively. As long as you have the Scrambler on your person, it'll do its job. No. I don't think so. As long as you're within range of the Enclave's transmitter, your signal should be the one the Death Claw follows. If you get too far away, well, I'm not sure what's going to happen. I think there might be some bad effects. Well, for the Death Claw, not you. Alright then. There have been reports of an Enclave camp southeast of Old Olney, so I'd head there if you want to try it out. I hope the Scrambler ends up being useful. I'd hate to have spent all this time on it and get no results, or bad results. That would be worse. Good luck, and please be careful.
something. Troubling you, my friend? If you insist, but do be careful. I can hardly repay your kindness while waiting back here. on target. Smells dangerous. 